Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this Sunday mountain weather update. All right, let's see what's going on out there. Here's radar across the west, and now we're in that shifting pattern where high pressure is going to start to build in across a lot of the Intermountain West with very warm temperatures. The flow is going to shift to favor the Pacific Northwest and BC and the northern tier of states, and you can see it happening right now. There's a lot of rain there on radar. That's how warm temperatures are going to be. You're really going to have to be at the very highest of elevations over the next week to get the snow because of this uh, this warm air mass that's moving in. Up in the uh, the northeast, you've got a storm system sliding through with quite a bit of rain. Um, today, there might be a mix at the high elevations, the highest of elevations of the northeast, and maybe a little bit of snow accumulation there. All right, looking at the uh, the water vapor here across the west. So uh, with this in the mid-levels, the oranges and the reds are going to be your drier air. The moistures and the whites and the blues. A couple of things to mention. So you got a storm system here, another one coming in behind it, and then one out here. All of this is part of that shifting pattern. Let me use the green. So all of this is going to be focused up here into the Pacific Northwest, Washington, Oregon, northern, central and northern Idaho, a lot of northwest Montana, BC, but keep in mind it is a very warm flow. And then on the interior, today through probably the 13th, we're going to see this high pressure start to develop across a lot of the Intermountain West. So that's sort of the long term pattern right now. Um, here are my bullet points. High pressure 46 to 413 roughly. Uh, pattern shifts to favor the Pacific Northwest BC. The freezing levels, the maximum freezing level during the day. We talked about this yesterday, and if anything, it's looking even a little bit warmer. Uh, but interior BC, 6,000 feet or higher, which means that 32 degree line is going to be way up there uh, during the warmest part of the day. Pacific Northwest, 5,000 feet or higher, probably higher. Idaho, 7,000 feet. Utah, uh, probably 11,000 feet coming up soon. Colorado, 12,000, maybe even 13. So very warm conditions. In fact, to give you a taste of this, here is that mid-level, that mid-atmospheric uh, pressure pattern. So you're looking at pressure here. So when you see the, the reds, the, the oranges, those are higher pressure readings, forecast higher pressures. Um, so you've got, uh, this is effective on the 10th roughly. So 410, big high pressure bending arcing to the north of the pressure lines with that ridge that's a ridge of high pressure and then all the active weather would spill down into parts of the ohio valley the great lakes um, where you have the blues those would be your lower pressures so that's roughly on the 10th the effect of this will be to significantly warm the temperatures in the extended forecast so this is breckenridge colorado at about 9600 feet look at the temperatures there are 40s and 50s coming for days on end um, by the time we get to Tuesday, it's all 40s and 50s all the way through. And overnight lows are going to be warming into the teens and 20s. So you'll get a freeze at night, but it's going to be way above freezing during the day. Um, and in South Lake Tahoe, it's kind of similar. In the extended forecast, you've got uh, a ton of 40s and 50s, almost 60 there on Monday the 14th. Uh, and overnight lows at some point stay above freezing. So you're talking about... Uh, an around-the-clock melt cycle in some cases. Uh, and if you saw, I mean, Jackson Hole, Yellowstone, lots of warm temps, 40s, 50s coming down the road. All right, here's my uh, snow timeline, best odds of snow as we look down the road. Big Sky, the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Interior, BC, the Pacific Northwest, Tahoe, and the Northeast. So, for example, in the Wasatch, I really don't have much of anything. Slim pickings with high pressure and control and very warm temperatures. There might be some light snow on 4.8 and some light snow possible 4.12, 4.13. In Colorado, I mean, I struggled to find anything. Very light accumulations, 4.13, 4.14. Uh, in Tahoe, I really struggled to find anything. Maybe some light snow on 4.7, possibly. In the northeast, you've got some light snow on the 8th, and then a mix of rain and snow, 4, 11, 12, and 13. Um, let's drill down to uh, Alta here, and I'll just show you what I'm seeing. So this is the forecast mediagram here, effective 9,000 feet up there in Little Cottonwood Canyon. Um, so it's pretty dry. The only chance of snow, and it's very light, is on the 8th. You can see that in the morning. Air temps, max uh, 33 today. Tomorrow, 40. Tuesday 35 so it's it's definitely going to be warm and this and you can see some of the winds up to about 30 between late 7 and 8 
Okay, let's go to the jet stream forecast. These are winds up at about 30,000 feet. Jet stream level winds, so looking for the brighter colors, but also looking for the dips, the kinks. Those are the storm systems. So we'll start this early today on Sunday. Um, big ridging uh, up into, I mean, pushing all the way north into parts of BC with the jet, but that's where the flow is going to remain active, starting in the Pacific Northwest. I showed you radar. All right, here we go. This is uh, this is early Monday, the seventh. Look at the dip in the jet up there in the Pacific Northwest, BC. All right, there's early Tuesday, the eighth. Everything is favoring BC Northern Tier, Pacific Northwest. There's early Wednesday, the ninth. There's uh, the tenth, big ridging uh, across the west, arcing to the north of the jet. There's early Friday. There's Saturday, another storm for the northern tier. Um, here's early Monday, April 14th, a little storm coming out of the northern tier, but still ridging across a lot of the west, even into the 15th. Okay, here's a forecast snowfall accumulation over time. So remember on this map, your light blues are going to be your lightest accumulations under 3 inches. Greens are 3 to 6, yellow 6 plus, reds 10 plus. Not a lot here on Sunday. A little bit of snow up there mixing with the rain in the northeast. Okay, moving ahead. Here's early Monday. Here's early Tuesday. Notice where the snow is. It's up in the Pacific Northwest BC Northern Tier, Idaho, Northwest Montana. Um, okay, here's early Wednesday. Just a touch of a little bit of snow, maybe grazing the northern mountains of Colorado, and that's it. Uh, here we are early on Thursday, the maximum probably day of high pressure. Um, or close to it. There's early Friday, the 11th. There's just nothing out west. There's early Saturday. Everything's up in the Pacific Northwest again. Here's early Sunday, the 13th. There's the 14th. Another warm day right there. And there's the, uh, the early morning of the 15th. So it really feels like once we get into this ridge of high pressure, like it's it's there to stay for a while. Like it's dominating the pattern. Um, pretty interesting. All right, here's my snow forecast uh, through the 13th. Uh, in the Wasatch, one to three inches, maybe. That might be a little bit optimistic, considering how warm it's going to be. About five up there in the Tetons, five or six. In Colorado, again, it really struggled. A lot of zeros, maybe up to one inch, central and northern mountains, maybe. Um, in Montana, the big bigger numbers are up in northwest Montana, closer to the flow, but six, seven, eight there through Bridger Bowl, Big Sky, Whitefish, Discovery, Snow Bowl. Uh, central to northern Idaho, up to 10, maybe 12. But man, you're going to have to be high. High elevation with how warm it's going to be. Similar 8 to 12 up there through interior BC, as long as you're at the highest of elevations, it's probably going to be rain at the base areas. In, uh, north, in the Pacific Northwest, one to two, maybe three feet at the highest of elevations, and very little for California. Tahoe, south to Mammoth, nothing. Nothing. All right, up in the northeast, uh, anywhere from four to six inches um, through Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, upstate New York. Uh, I don't have anything for Massachusetts, southern New York. And keep in mind, there's going to be a lot of rain mixing in with this. These, these numbers are really just for the highest of elevations. All right, let's end on the big western map here across the west. Um, again, the best snow is going to be in the Pacific Northwest, BC, Northern Tier. Otherwise, you're really going to struggle uh, for a lot of the Intermountain West with this big uh, ridge of high pressure that may be there for quite a while. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. I always appreciate it. Take care and have a great day.